Who we got, man? We got Autumn, we got uh, Linkardo, Kedrin. We got actually a lot of shamans on the horde group. And on the alliance, we actually got a mage! What looks like a fire mage. Zikari, Zerg, and Sajuk, and Heart Cake are still coming back yet again. How is this gonna work, by the way? Oh, now we can zoom in. Okay, cool. Now we can really get close ups. Looks like it's gonna be up first. It looks like it's gonna be water yet again on the horde side. And is it playing enhancement this time or Ellie? It looks like it is an enhancement. Popping down the slow totem. It looks like it's Zergen up first. So Vader versus Zergen. This is gonna be a really bad pick for Vader, but maybe we'll see. Maybe he'll be able to pull something out of here. Realizing that it's a rogue. By the way, if you guys are rogues and you're not dueling, be out of cell, by the way. Very important, man. No bad man, how about you? Doing pretty good, my guy. Vader is though, not doing that great. Getting a cheap shot into a road, into a kidney. No vendetta available quite yet. And Vader is just having to uh, heal himself. That is going to be a kick onto that heal. No wall available yet, though. Those were wolves, and that's going to be sundering onto Zergen, but evasion is going to keep him up and running. Vader is trying to go for a healing surge. No kick available this time, though. But Vader is still just lowering down in health. He's just dipping down bit by bit. Shrinky coming out onto that stun. Is that going to be wall available? Vader really needs to heal, using whatever he can for Isakas. But ever since the nerves are just simply not as good. Wall coming out right now, trying to get some damage back at Zergen. That is Vendetta. It's going to be a blind by Zergen, though. I see us having to deal with those pets coming back in, trying to get the damage, I guess, right afterwards. Yep, starting to get the damage right back into it while Vendetta is still available for a little bit longer. No, Vendetta is down right now. It's going to be kidney shot coming out. And Zergen actually finds himself in kind of a bad spot. No check available. Get himself a vantage, though. Vanish reset and Vader needs to go for big heals back to back. But no healing available, no mana available, no maelstrom available. And Zergen is able to get himself a nice concoction. Cheap shot into a sundering to get himself a little bit of a breathing room. Vader, if he goes for big procs right now, might actually be able to end it. Kidney shot onto Vader. Zergen barely in health and does get sniped out. Vader barely surviving it. Having to now go against a warrior. Heart cake has him in the execute range. Vader trying to go for whatever healing he can. Just to drop a slow totem or something to keep Heart Cake around. Oh, there's gonna be a oh pet. What was that? Stun! He immune with that stun! What was that, chat? What was that? Heart cake, look at Heart Cake. He's so confused. He's like, what the f just happened? He immune with that stun on the mount. How? He didn't trick it either. Unless Water was DR'd from the rogue. Which I guess is a possibility, actually. No, think about it. That's gonna be full fear, full burst for Heart Cake. Gets that Vader there. That's gonna be stun onto Heart Cake, though. He's gonna trigger a nope, short stun. Vader gets himself a bit of a moment to get away. That does, oh, I think it was the yard, man. And then Stormbolt right afterwards. Vader is a bad spot. Dropping down Sundering. Has wolves available. Those wolves are now attacking. Wall coming out. That's gonna be a, a, a blade storm for Heart Cake. Vader has big procs for damage available right now. Can go for big bursts onto Heart Cake. Also, big heals. Lots of Maelstrom coming out. Is he gonna be able to go for a ham? He is actually getting a setup. Double storm strike to establish the chain link. And Heart Kick is taking a bit of damage. Water, no wall available. Needs to find a way to recover after this. Heart Kick still has big defensives for this, though. Water has a trinket back up and available. It's gonna be stunned. Needs a trinket right now. Then get away. Heart Kick goes for big heals. And it's gonna snap out Water and get himself a big heal. Linkardo has an owl road coming out onto Heart Cake as soon as possible. It's a trinket available off the bat. Short stun onto Heart Cake to follow. And is Linkardo gonna have cooldowns? Yep. Gonna have a Pelandro Armor killing spree available. Gonna bring down Heart Cake. Big dispatch right afterwards. Parry available. Trying to end Heart Cake right now. Does Heart Cake have anything to follow with this parry? Does get a big leap away. Trying to get away. Stun coming out into Linkardo. No trinket coming out for Linkardo. No, it does trinket. Decides he needs to use it right there, right now. Delay trinket. Might put himself in a bad spot, though. Banish coming out as the Juke goes in to get some damage out. Changes Magavit. He's a Gnome. Don't get Gnome, Linkardo. That's I coming out, though. So he sees Linkard and no parry available or anything. Blazestorm to keep himself running so he doesn't get slow. That's going to be Execute Ranger. That's going to be a one dead rogue down for the count. Sajuk just gnomed him. That's going to be dead up next. Going up versus Sajuk. Sajuk still has a lot of cooldowns available. Didn't pop anything. Dead is hanging out by the pillar where he is the most comfortable. Does have a different pet though. It's a defensive pet this time. I don't know what kind of what his uh, other pet did before. That's going to be stunned to Sajuk though. With all the dots disengage coming out, it's going to be charged by Sajuk, trying to get some damage in with a burst. Then is just going to bail out of there, drop down a charge trap. Sajuk is kind of in a bad spot, forced to maybe heal off of the pet. Does go for a leap onto dead, maybe a charge to follow. Does go for big defenses now. Is dead going to allow him to reheal to full? It looks like dead just might allow him to reheal to full. No dampening quite yet, dead popping his own heal as well. 
and popping big defensive trying to deal with the damage of the warrior that's going to be i think a net or yeah it looks like it was a net trap that is throwing in grenades at him, trying to keep the dots going for Sajuk. This is bad. The longer the dots take, the worse that is. Does get a fear dead. Does decide to go for a his racial order to break out of it. And does take out Sajuk though at the very end. Dan hasn't even popped a def offensive cooldown yet. And Castanova is going to have to go up next. It's going to be a, f a flare and a camo for dead. So Casanova is going to be caught out in the open. Dead is going to be able to see them. Dampening coming in at about 2%. So this is going to be pretty bad for anybody who's a healer. So for Autumn, it might be pretty bad. It might be bad for Zakati for any healing he can get. For Dead, it could be pretty bad. For Kedron, is going to start looking bad because there's a bit of healing those guys can do. Casanova just going in for doing a little dance. Make a little love. And Dead is just going to be able to dance with him. But he's gonna keep gonna go up with an opener for a stun. Full burst coming out for dead. That's gonna be a trinket out of Casanova. Trying to get some instant cast off on dead though. Going for a big combustion. Dragon's breath. Rooting dead on the open. Dead goes for a, uh, a faint death. Which does put him in a bad spot. Does the spell and complete. Casanova is very low on health. Cauterize can come out anytime now. Temporal does grant himself a bit extra health. Does try to get himself a, a ring of... Uh, Ring of Frost, but not going to be able to land it. It's going to force out uh, Cauterize and doesn't have anything left. And Dead is going to be able to take him out. And up next is going to be Zakati getting the stone to Dead. Tricky coming out instantaneously. It's going to be a short root and short stun by the pet. Dead is still trying to get away, getting rooted, getting dotted, and everything. It's going to be turtle shell into a manic bandage. Dead is trying to use it while dampening is only 8%. And Zakati is still just going in for big damage, just trying to get a setup. There's going to be a freezing trap available onto Zakati. Is the pet going to eat it? I think Zakati's pet might have actually ate it. Tricky coming out. Was that on a stun or on the trap? Actually, that might have been a trap just now i stopped paying attention at one point zakati is getting dead down low does have dots on him does have a little bit of the um what is it called a uh, necrotic strike available so if that is getting any heals goes back to zakati instead and zakati is getting stunned up right now ibf not available all cooldowns are out and that is going to be able to take out zakati right then and there no death back coming in as a last ditch effort zakati wants to end the man right here right now does he have any way to heal off of dead whatsoever does get a stun zakati barely has any health though dead is just hanging out zakati is on his last few legs and did go down to dead with all that dot damage of a survival hunter Yikes, that was a little bit rough, man. But good duels overall, boys. Really good duels. That was awesome. Definitely want to do more of these in the future, man. Especially now that we figure out how to do this with the camera and, like, tracking people and whatnot. It definitely makes it that much easier to see, dude. Oh, you can also see holes in arenas. <laughs> this is the stuff you're not supposed to see, man. <laughs> I have so much power. <laughs> oh, this is so good. If I was watching this duels, this would be my seat, man. Eating some moldy cheese, some rotten fruit, and watching. You can't even see anything from here. What the hell? Again, all these pillars in the way, dude. That was a terrible design choice. Anyway, that was it, boys. That was the last for 5 5 one duels, alrighty? So.